having people developing Bitcoin with capitalistic interest is actually bad for Bitcoin in certain senses. So an example of this is, let's say that I have two developers, one is a laborer, one is a capitalist, and both are trying to implement a specific feature into Bitcoin. One, the capitalist looks at the problem and says, I know how to solve this problem in a way that I will be able to uniquely earn a profit over the next decade. Um, and, and this is not inconceivable. One example of this would be, uh, hey, I came up with a new signature algorithm that's really great called Schnorr signatures, and I patented it. And Bitcoin can use the patent however they want. And we have a carve out that says only major exchanges uh, have to pay a fee for using it. And that would be a way that they say, okay, well, you're going to make a lot of money doing that because the exchanges do a lot of high value transactions. Good for you. Bitcoin probably shouldn't adopt that, right? And, and that's historically why Schnorr was not used in Bitcoin sooner is we wanted to wait for the patents to expire. Um, on the other hand, you can have the laborer and the laborer says, hey, well, I was paid to develop this. It's a work for hire for Bitcoin. And this goes into the public commons and it's done in a way that there's no encumbrances or any way of me monetizing. It is a platform for anybody to build on top of. And so that helps the ecosystem of Bitcoin be competitive and not have uh, some sort of middleman to people's business. So I think that that's where uh, there's sort of a mix where you want capitalism to be the incentive for using something. But anytime somebody's able to lock in a way of earning money by Bitcoin being operated, it sort of is a little bit negative for the ecosystem because things should be done uh, with, without middlemen. So, so that, that's sort of like, there's this like fundamental tension and developers are definitely caught in the crossfire.